beautiful souls. Come and join me. It's going to be a wonderful morning, evening, wherever you are. It's been lovely to see you. For a day, we are going to let spirit lead the way. What we do, where I go. Come and join me. That'll be lovely to see. So welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Just come on and join me. Say hi. How lovely to see you. Hi. Come and join me. Can you hear that music? Can you hear my voice okay? Or is it causing problems? I see a bit of delay in the picture. So I'd love it for those of you who are just on, just let me know. Can you hear that music? Is it nice or is it annoying? Hello, hi, Tina. Hello, Laura, Libby. Hi. Just come on and let me know. Love to know where you are, where you are based. So come on and please, I want to say come in actually. Come into my home. Come and join this beautiful spiritual group we're going to have together tonight. That's how I like to think of this, that you are all coming to a beautiful spiritual development group at my home, which I have missed so much doing. So I have been told by spirit, just treat the energy the same, that you're coming into this beautiful healing room. And you're coming to just sit down, relax. I hope you're able to now relax. Just waiting for some people to come in. And if you can let me know where you're, where you're coming in from, that would be fantastic. From the UK, me too. I am calling, I'm calling, <laughs> I'm here from England. Hi everyone, hi Crystal. You can't hear the music. Okay, but hopefully you can hear me okay. All right, I don't want to, that's fine. I'll have the music here with me. <laughs> that shows that if you were here with me, you see, you would hear the music. So I am, my show is normally an hour later and I'm standing in for the beautiful, wonderful Donna who normally comes to you with her lovely session, her lovely program on kinesiology. She's an absolute star and I'm very honoured to call her my friend. Um, so I've had treatments with her, so she's just taking a, a night off today. So um, I've offered to cover for her. So we have two hours together this evening. OK, so what I'm going to do, um, I know you're all coming on immediately saying you want readings, which we will get to. I have 24 packs of cards here today. OK. When I linked in with my spirit guides, this is what they told me to do today, that it's going to be a combination of everything, um, all the different things that I do. So I want to just settle this in now. And so I'm going to start by lighting a candle and I'm going to give the intention of setting this candle and sending healing to all of you. So this is for you, whatever you have been going through at the moment. I call in the angels, the archangels, the Christ consciousness team that I work with. I call in your guides, your guardian angels to come close to you, to bring you healing, to bring you solace, bring you upliftment and to bring you to a place where you can find peace in your heart. 
So I'd just like you all now, in order to learn as if we were starting within my home, a beautiful healing and development evening. I'd like you all now to take three deep cleansing breaths, just deeper than you would normally breathe, in through your nose. Breathing in peace and calm. Now breathing out all your stress and worries, just let them go. Bring yourself into this space, surrounded by light and healing energy. Now going to do some clearing with some sage with the energetic release of this to send this to you as well because everything is energy and if it matters to people that's now been that has more than been proven by science as well and so again Clearing the space. Setting the scene for the work. I was guided that this was all very important. I feel there's going to be some, some big messages from spirit. I do channel higher beings. They're coming with a lot of wisdom for us at the moment. And I'm now going to Heal with sound and clear the space. Just breathing in and just relaxing yourself because the more relaxed you are, the more you are open to receiving the reading, receiving the guidance that will come for you. And I feel these are going to be, I've been told it mustn't be rushed this evening. And sometimes we speed through doing short readings. I've been told that it isn't to be rushed. Okay. So I even have beautiful, um, I want to talk about duality. Yin and yang. Okay, these beautiful crystals. They help balance the energy. This is Rainbow Obsidian. It's a great one for absorbing all the lower energies. And then this Lemurian crystal gives off beautiful, beautiful high vibration energy. So those have been bought as well. And then how's this? It's two beauties. Look at these. My beautiful unicorns. Again, duality. The yin and yang, both sides of the coin, there is always the other side. And this is what we're aiming at, is to bring ourselves into balance. So calling on that beautiful light energy as well. And then the oils. So we are getting it all this evening. These are all ways that you can help bring yourself into balance, techniques that you can practice with. And this is sage. Just need a drop. And then you can run that through your aura. Okay, I'm not. I use oils and crystals a lot in my work. I'm not an aromatherapist, I use them for myself, but it might be something else which you want to explore. Okay, so. I feel there's going to be a lot of healing bought um, this evening as well. I'm just going to, uh, no, that's fine. Okay, right, so as I normally do, I normally set off with a reading for all of you, okay? So this sets the scene for the evening, and as I say, I'm going to be here for two hours, so we have a wonderful session ahead of us. Um, okay. So I'm also on another level, as you can see, I'm wearing a lot of um, pendants today 
And these are all elements of sacred geometry in layer two. Okay, we have the flower of life here. This one is a she yantra. And then I have various ones that also have different symbols on that have different meanings. Okay, so these are all the things that I have always loved and have an interest in um, and help me balance. So I was told that this is what was needed. And as I say, I have 24 packs of cards of varying types in front of me here. So Spirit are going to guide me as to what to use with each of you. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to actually use sacred geometry cards and I'm actually going to use the flower of life cards. Okay, now this is for a reading, this is for a message that I actually want to read out to you. Okay, so these aren't for interpreting, this is a message for all of us. Oh, this is perfect. All right. Now, what I wanted to just say to you is whilst um, you come on to the show and you do quickly want a reading, um, I am a psychic medium, clairvoyant. I use all my skills to help somebody. I'm also an executive coach, life coach, if you will. Um, and I've always used all my skills in coaching people as well. I am a Reiki master and also a spiritual healer. I use various um, healing modalities. I work with higher beings. I work with the angelics. I'm a chakra dance facilitator. I'm a laughter yoga instructor and I'm now training to be a celebrant. So I will be able to officiate over weddings, funerals and naming ceremonies and all sorts of other threshold ceremonies, which we can have at so many times. And this is what I'm guiding is that our life is the bit void of ceremony at the moment of recognizing different transition periods when things happen. And that a lot of them are obvious. But also, what about if something happens to you? If you get made redundant, do you ever really let go of that? Do you, where sometimes a ceremony can help you let go of the past and move on. The um, separation of a relationship, a divorce, sometimes a ceremony help us move on from that with love and rather than carrying because it holds back us back so much is the baggage we carry from the past and then we actually take that with us so the card that i pulled for all of us on this pack i'm going to just pull several is about readings how about that a tarot reading will inspire give guidance and create new paths for you a reading is objective. There is no external authority deciding if you have been good enough to be rewarded or bad enough to have something taken away. For everything in the outside world is but a reflection of the inner. Allow a reading to be what it is. Objective material flowing from your higher self to alert you to the truth and essence of you. A reading can show you where your life potential is. However, if you are not willing to make the changes that are being shown to you or have brought to you to have a reading, nothing will change. Each experience gives you the opportunity to move away from fearful thinking. You have the potential to be whomever you want. So I just want to clarify that a reading is where you are at the moment so i will link in with you at this moment this isn't fortune telling okay we are i'm linking in with your energy i'm linking in with your guides i'm linking in maybe with spirit who are coming through if i'm using um mediumship skills but you can come on and keep having messages and keep having readings but if you do nothing if you make no change in your life and you think, oh, that's going to happen, but I'm just going to sit here doing nothing. The likelihood that anything will change in your life um, is minimal. So that doing something might be the advice is to let go. It might be to 
let go and let God. I love that saying. Um, just letting things flow a bit, or it may be actually needing to get up and take action. Okay. So I think it's important to realize that with a reading, and it's the same with healing. I can work with somebody over a long period of time. We can work in their energies. We can help heal on a very deep level. But if when you leave each healing session, you don't really make adjustments, you don't follow the guidance that is coming to you, you don't learn to tune into your intuition more, then again, nothing much will happen. Okay. Well, you'll get, you know, you'll get some response. You'll get some, um, but if the guidance is you need to look at your diet or you need to start making better health choices, then the healing can work with you. Otherwise, it's it's like it's trying to drag you the wrong way up the stream, okay? Because you're resisting. Does that make sense? So let's have a look at what for everybody the blocks might be for all of you. So now we're going to look at what we need to surrender to. Okay, so that's not a surprise to me. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Okay, so just what I was saying. You need to connect inwards and that's what I feel tonight is very much about. Spirit is guiding us with some very, very good advice. Okay, it's learning to be better at listening to those messages. Okay, now the other thing that I also look into is colour healing. Okay, colour therapy, colour also has a vibration. All right, you know yourself, you feel better or worse if you might try um, different colours. So I have colour cards as well. So I wore magenta today. So I was really drawn. I put on a different colour to start with and then I got a very clear message, no, you need to change. And so with the magenta card, okay, this makes total sense for me. Connect to your deepest inner knowing. So that for me obviously fits perfectly with what I'm going to do for you today. All right. And then just one more message for all of you. Remember, these are messages for all of you. Okay. Oh, those are jumping out. <laughs> oh, there you go. So as we move forward into today's two hour workshop, let go and enjoy. Well, that's perfect, isn't it? I know I am. I love being with you. I get such a high vibe and I was, um, it was lovely that I could come on to be with you for longer today. Okay. So, okay. Let's see who's here. And if you want to, um, to look me up, just to say, um, you can click on the picture here at the moment and the details will come up underneath or when the, the video goes up later. My name is Melanie Wellard. You can look me up on melaniewellard.co.uk and that will give details of everything I do and you can drop me a message. Okay, I am on Facebook, you can look me up there too, so all the details are below. And I often work with clients over a long period of time when they really want, I can do just one-off readings, but if you're looking for real transformation, transformative change, if you really want change in your life, then sometimes we have to make the commitment to work on ourselves over a long period of time. Because what I find is people that um, have readings and keep wanting to ask the same question over and over, it's because they're not taking that action to actually make anything happen, okay? And then they get stuck and it can get very stagnant. So I do work with people with sessions of um, an hour, two hours, three hours. People have even had full day sessions with me, okay, where we can, I, th I bring all my gifts to bear. Um, but it's... Um, it's entirely up to you. So everything I do is unique to each individual. So I'd like to start with you, Dee, if you're still here. Oh, look, your name just popped up there, Libby. I've written you down at the beginning. Libby Utheridge, is that right? Libby Utheridge. Right down. Okay, where are we being taken? Okay, what do I want to work with you with? Okay, Libby. I'm immediately getting drawn here to the fairy oracle cards. All right. So let's have a look. Okay. 
I won't, um, as I say, I won't turn the music up anymore. If you can't hear it, then if I turn it up, it'll drown me out <laughs> where I am here. All right. So I don't want it to become annoying. It's sometimes possible, sometimes have it in the background. I thought maybe I could put it through the system, but it's obviously not coming through to you. So, okay, Libby, let's see as I link in with your energy first. Okay. Right, Libby, as I link in with you, I'm sort of backing off like this. Um, I'm feeling that there, there's quite a lot of conflict around you at the moment, um, if you would understand that. Um, and I'm being, I'm feeling that you want to back off in this. It's like you're, you want to say to someone, enough, enough. Um, and I just feel it's someone, I want to say, that's really getting in your energy and is not hearing you, if that makes sense. I just feel they're not hearing you. And you're getting exasperated, but it's not working to actually keep having the conflict. So I also feel this is coming from you. I feel your, um, I want to say almost your emotions, your temper might be rising a bit. And I want to definitely say um, you need to turn the volume down on that and just and to back off. OK, um, this isn't going to this argument is not going to be solved by everyone trying to push um where they think they're right all right i, I just don't feel that's that's going to happen it this needs much calmer dialogue but at the moment it's like where you can't listen to each other then it just feels like um there isn't the solution at the moment so i'll i'll look into that okay um can you just let me know libby if that resonates with you um Okay, if you can just, I'm going to carry on, okay, Libby, it's hard to sort of get the, if you're still here, um, and I'm just going to see what, um, look into that a bit deeper. Okay, right, so it's come up in the actual card, so in the fairy oracle card, okay, if I just show you that. Okay, um, and I'll just read you what it says. So it sort of confirms what I was picking up. Falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. So that's why I'm feeling there needs to be like going to going to separate corners at the moment, if that makes sense. Um, because I do just feel that it, it, it's battling it at the moment is just not going to work. It just feels like you need a bit of space. You need to step back. Um, I'm going to use some other cards with you here, as I have 24 packs here, I can really play here with you all, right, so I'm going to get the heart card, let's really look at this relationship here going on, um, okay, ah, oh, okay, right, that makes sense to me, Libby, okay, let's see what else, um, So if it's not a, a love relationship with you, do remember that when we talk about relationships, we have relationships with many, many people. OK. Ah, OK. Right. So um, I'll have a look at that into a bit more for you, Libby. OK, you're not looking forward to it. All right. So this is why um, I said that it, conflict is not going to work. All right. And just shouting louder is not going to work. All right. So this really feels like a need for calm. This really needs um, for just serious dialogue, but um, not in an argumentative way, because then barriers go up and I just see, and then no one's listening, no one's hearing, okay? So I feel this is on your behalf as well as the other party. All right, and I will link in with that. Um, but I'm also feeling that this is, if, if this resonates with you, I am feeling this could be resonating on a personal level as well, okay, with relationships, because I feel that, your frustration is getting um, higher, okay? Um, all around inclusion, okay, I get that. Yeah, okay. I think schools must be, um, there's a need for a bit of compassion here as well because I think schools must be, um, I used to work in uh, further education and I worked with many, many schools and you know, see the pressures they're under of what they have to deliver and all the different things they have to get through. 
Um, so it feels like spirit is sort of saying to you that yes, you have what you need from them, but this needs to be, there's a really strong message here that this needs to be a partnership. All right, that you need to work with rather than accusing of and saying you're not doing this and um, this feels like a partnership, okay? Um, and I know it can get very, very frustrating, um, but I, I've seen it work far better if you can work with, all right? And, and what I've always tried to do and what Spirit have always led me to do is, is walk in someone else's shoes a bit, see the other person's point of view, um, try and see how they're feeling, feel how they're feeling. And then once you can, that's what real empathy is about, that's what compassion is about, rather than I'm right, you're wrong, and guess what, everyone then just sees you as a difficult person. Um, don't feel defeated, all right? Please don't feel defeated, all right? Um, okay, I'm just thinking, I'm going to pull one of these, but I'm also linking in with um, your child, okay? If that's okay with you. Um, very spiritual um, child you have there, okay? Um, wow, beautiful energy, all right? And I want to say, if this helps, whilst this feels like you're not quite getting what you want here, I'm being shown, don't worry, okay? Your child is really going to find their way. They are here for a beautiful spiritual purpose on this world. And so you may find they don't, they're not going to fit the system, all right? Systems are breaking down. That's what this whole year, they're going to change, all right? Um, and There'll be all types of, I've seen some wonderful things happening and then it sinks back down in the education system and it just keeps changing. It goes up and down and just as you think this huge moves forward, it changes again. So that's because it's led by governments and um, every four years they come in and change everything, even though there was something good working. So um, I want to say your child is a very spiritual being, if I'm sure you've already recognised that. Um, so please don't feel defeated. This I'm getting again, please step back. All right, I'm not pulling a card yet because they're just still speaking to me. Um, I just feel I want you to step back, all right, and link. It's almost like energetically linking in with your child because don't feel it as rejection. It feels like there will be other pathways, other answers, and they are going to find their way to what's right for them. Um, could I ask, is your, um, lovely, thank you, Libby, um, have you already noticed that your child has significant psychic ability and healing ability? Are they very good with animals? Are they fascinated with animals? Um, if not, I feel they will be. All right. Um, okay, right. I'm going to pull one of these for you now. Let's see what's going on. Right, okay, so you're getting the confirmation. I've even got the rest and reconsider card, okay? So this is confirmation of what, this is what Spirit do with me. They, they'll um, talk through me and then they give me the cards to confirm. So rest and reconsider, all right? This will calm you. So then I want you to be going in in a, in a more empowered way, all right? Ready to listen, ready to work with. If you go in there ready for battle, you're not going to feel that you're... Um, you're going to get what you want, okay? Um, can you stay at the same school? I would work with this school, all right? For now, I do. I'm not seeing a big. I feel they're going to they're going to work something out, all right? But I want you to. I know that you know you know your child, obviously. But if you can start to see them in a slightly different light, because I feel they are they are going to manage far more um, than you think, all right? You have you have brought to this world. Um, I'm being told you were chosen very carefully um, by your child and by spirit to be their mother. Okay, so of course it's a challenging part. Um, one has a crystal shot. Oh, okay. oh, both of them. Wow. Okay, fabulous. So therefore, they know their path. All right. I, I feel I'm just being told they know their path. So it's about I'm being told here you don't need to force, you can help facilitate, all right? 
um, but I'm not getting changing schools. I feel this is about overcoming and working with, all right? So let's have a look what this last one is. Okay, you're also getting here, talk to God, okay? So some people get twitchy with that word, but God, the universe, the divine spirit, um, okay? Um, this feels like for you as well to have, where you've got that sit back, rest and reconsider, it feels like then other um, messages are going to come to you, okay? So I just want to, um, see what color you need at the moment <laughs> okay perfect so just to finish with that all right you've got plum okay if you have anything can you see that clearly there's a lot of light shining on it i apologize it's a plum all right and what it actually says is overcome your challenges so this feels like when you go in you know it feels like maybe if you've got something in plum it could just be a scar or something but it's feels like that you are going to overcome your challenges. Okay, now I am working very deeply with Libby here, um, just to sort of show you how um, a reading can go that we look into a situation or your life in um, a much more deep way. Okay, um, right, my darling. Surrender your low self-esteem, Libby, all right? So this I feel is also at the base of it, is you're not quite trusting yourself. And that's when the anger comes is because most people who are jealous, angry, um, judgmental, accusing, we've all been there, okay? This is not a judgment. This is, these are emotions that come up in us. But just notice when these come to the fore, it's usually when we feel very insecure ourselves, okay? When we're balanced, when we're more sure, we can do things in a much calmer way. I am being told here that there is a member of staff that you will work with, Libby, at the school, who really does have your child's best interest, okay? Um, okay, that's lovely. Well, I hope that's helped, Libby, Libby okay? And good luck, all right, good luck. Um, oh, okay, sorry, I was told to pull you one more, just to finish with, okay? Surrender to joy. So allow the conclusion to come in, all right? I'm being told, you know, sometimes the arguments we have in our life can seem like they're just the same energy as warring countries. All right. Um, and I don't mean to, um, I'm not diminishing anything, but on an energetic level, when we're fighting, when we're back, we're locking heads. Um, Deepak Chopra said that sometimes even warring nations at an energetic level is this is the defending a point of view. OK, so the more you can come to meet gently, I'm being shown rather than this, you want to aim to this. All right. So bless you, Libby. I hope that's helped. Okay. Who else we have here? Okay. Yes, I know. Sorry, uh, Teresa. Yes, obviously, where you are, that's going to be really late. So, um, okay. Okay, Julia. Eckenberg. Okay, Julia, let's see what's going on with you. Hmm. Right, I feel very flat energy with you at the moment, Julia. Um, so whilst you talk about um, what you should put your energy into, I feel your energy is quite flat. Does that make sense, my love? Um, Okay, I'm just going to see first of all what you need to surrender to. I'm going to bring these in straight away. What do you need to surrender to to help you move forward? I'm just going to look first at what's blocking you, okay? This is the route I feel I need to go with you today. Oh, right. That flew out. Okay, we have that one. I'm just going to pull you three from here, okay?
So as I say, I was very guided that things would be calm and rain slowly this evening to help you relax rather than far. Um, what else do you need? Right, okay. So I'm just going to show you, and I'm not going to go into the details of this on a public forum, okay? But you've pulled, first of all, surrender your addictions, okay? Now, addictions, we immediately think of particular things. So that can be anything from food, um, anything we use as a comfort. That could be um, the normal ones we think of. But this could also be behaviours, okay? It could be the place that we, we go to. What is our default position when we feel under threat, all right? So, um, but I'm being told that you actually will understand what that stands for because you've also got here surrender to complete healing, all right? And it's like you need to open up to a healing path. Um, I'm being told you need to really give an overhaul. Um, it's like giving a, a, a big clear out, a big overhaul to your life, okay? And one of the first things you need to do is surrender the drama. You need to step away. Um, from, oh, I'm getting a bombardment of stuff that you're watching, you're listening to, it's all coming at you from, um, and, it, and it just feels again, you know, we, this, this certainly in this last year, um, I'm only new, new to social media, I'm very discerning as to what I look at, I choose which things I look at, particular people that I admire and want to go to and don't get involved in just stuff that's thrown at me. Um, my TV signal actually went, um, I don't watch a lot, but it was, um, it just went and now we've got just a little TV, and a, uh, one in the main lounge, and the signal went to the, to the house, and I've just left it, I haven't had it repaired, because even if bits come in, I have separated myself from the news, I get to hear about what's really going on, if I want to just put the radio on in the car or whatever, and get snippets and highlights. Um, because you need really need to be protecting Julia. Um, what I'm getting is your energy. All right, it needs an overhaul. It needs cutting off from the drama of people and things, and and you've got to come into this central space. And really, it, it feels like writing a like there needs to be a list. Written. What are my actions I'm going to take? Do I need to get into more healthy living? Do I need to start doing whatever it is? But realistic. All right. Um, I recently started the forever. The forever living um, program the aloe vera one my goodness the difference in the way i've been feeling i make sure i get out in nature a lot and these are the things that are coming up for you um i am going to look into this a bit deeper okay um right i'm just going to see what crystal you need for your way forward and then we're going to actually um and so this is what i feel in what you were asking what we need to be focusing on this is important first because the thing is it's a bit like, um, I always remember getting told off by my dad, my dear dad, who's, who passed. Um, and if I... So prepare first if you're going to decorate something, all right? And you've got to clean it, you've got to prepare it. I'd be like, oh, that doesn't matter. Okay, so guess what? When you don't do it properly, you know, it either peels or it doesn't go on properly or whatever. So that's what I'm getting for you at the moment, Julia, is you need to be looking at some fundamentals before you start um, surging forwards. It feels like you really need to be looking um, at these things. Where am I putting my attention? So the word focusing comes out of your message really big, okay, really big and bright. Um, where should I be focusing and putting my energy? All right. And you need to be putting it on, it feels like clearing out the drawers, clearing out of you. All right. Um, and saying, what am I doing? How am I spending my time? Okay. And I'm just going to look at what crystal comes up for you here. What's crystal energy you need? Okay. Um, so yeah, with this, the drama thing, you've actually pulled black tourmaline, okay, which is a very good protection card. And this, don't get freaked out by the word protection. We can talk about putting up boundaries instead, okay. Um, and I have got, um, I'm just going to show you a piece, okay.
Okay, there's a nice big piece of black tourmaline. So I treated myself, it can get little bits, okay, but I treated myself with this lovely big piece, okay. So that sits um, with me, I hold that sometimes. Um, and it just feels like that could help protect you from taking on, because what I'm feeling with you, my love, is you are taking on too much of other people's stuff, all right, from this whole drama thing, all right. Um, let me know if that resonates with you. Um, okay, where are they taking now what you need? Right, okay. Now I've got soul contract cards, and I'm just seeing what comes up with these. Right, okay, you've also got the gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents, okay? So it feels like um, um, what I'm getting as I look at this is that, again, in getting caught up with the drama of everything that's going on around you, and that can drag you down. And then all of a sudden, and it's, it's, it's what I, I have seen and some of the reasons I'm not that keen on a lot of social media and what it's for is what do people say they get into a, a fear of missing out or um comparing to others because do remember a lot of what's going on there um, i'm very much i'm drawn to people who i feel have very authentic energy all right i want to know that, that people are real okay and um okay there's a re i don't know why spirit are giving me this um but you know when people are now using filters on their photos and all the rest of it. These are all layers of stepping away, stepping away, stepping away from our authentic self. It's like, I don't like myself, so I'll put up another layer. I'll make myself. Um, now, there's a difference between just, um, this is more about energetically, okay? So there's a difference between playing and make yourself look nice and put on the makeup or whatever, and saying, I don't want to look like this. I want to put on something else, put on a mask that's therefore I'm portraying something totally different. And only you can know what's going on inside. Only you can know um, whether this feels energetically the right thing for you. All right, I'm just going to now pull you. Um... Oh, I can imagine, Julia. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay. Right. I'm just linking into that as I, uh, from what you said there. Um, let me see what I'm thinking. Okay. Right, it does feel, and you know, I, this will come up a lot. Um, you obviously have your hands full there, but that you need to come higher up, higher up the pecking order, I want to say, higher up the, um, the ladder of priority is that what I want to say because um, even if it's just one notch okay there's a lovely saying it's just a plus one okay and I would say this about everything um, we um, we when we try to bring about change in our life which is why I work with people on a, a long-term basis is we like to think okay I'm going to just change everything so that's why I don't buy into new year's resolutions I don't look at any change until at least February okay I, I put down what I'd like to bring into my life and then I slowly move into it all right but this idea of I'm gonna start running a marathon and I'm going to go on a huge diet and I'm going to do this and the energy isn't right we're, we're trying to force it at that time and it's a fine balance between giving ourselves a boot up the backside to bring about change and then forcing um, on a closed door okay so I love the saying plus one, okay, plus one, all right, and plus one is um, just take the one step, look at one thing, so if it is backing off from maybe a lot of drama coming into your life, then what's a step you can do to avoid that, is that switch off the TV, is that uh, not looking at your devices a lot, or is that just Sometimes um, I feel here as well, it can be looking at, um, it can be very much looking at 
do you need to release relationships from your life as well? That's what's coming up here, okay? Um, I don't want to go into the personal details of that, okay? Yes, a small change is still a change. There was, um, the other day I was walking along, I did a post um, on my site, and there was a little worm on the pavement. There'd been a lot of rain and the worms had come out onto the pavement. So I stopped and I picked up the worm and I put it back into the grass. And I then looked at um, what worms do for us. And basically when I actually, I thought for some reason I was guided to research this. I know that they filter the soil and they have a very important purpose. But did you know that if we didn't have earthworms, that basically it, it, over time it would be the end of the human race? Okay, and that's what I read. They are probably one of the most, they filter the soil, they help the soil, they give nutrients to their soil. Even their little poops are nutrients to the soil. They are a perfect creature in total symb symbiosis with the planet. And that's what we need to be more of. So what I got from that was even the smallest change, the smallest kindness can save a world and save a life, okay? The smallest change, smiling at somebody, okay? Um, especially at the moment, if we're all wearing masks, smile with your eyes. I've got a mask with a smile on it, okay? And it makes people laugh wherever I go. I thought, fine, if I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna still make people smile and bring my energy to wherever I go. So around the supermarket, I end up with everyone laughing and joking. So this is what I'm getting for you, Julia, okay? Is um, what small changes that are going to lift you, all right? Because I'm just feeling that you need to go upwards, all right, with your vibration, okay? Um, but some of these changes could raise it a huge amount. Okay, so here's an interesting one. I, I also felt to um, picking up a strong goddess energy with you. So I looked at the goddess cards as well here. And you've got Diana, okay? And um, Diana is focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. Okay, so it feels like little, little steps, but it does feel like looking to your healing. Okay, um, let me see what color you need. Oh, crikey, those dropped out. Okay, you got two. How about that? <laughs> You got two. Right, okay. So this makes sense to me. You've got green, okay? You've got green and you've got red together. Scarlet, rather, okay? And the green is revitalize your nervous system. Green healing your heart, more, okay? That will in turn help raise your vibration. So I feel this needs to be done gently for you. I feel you're a very gentle soul. All right, so step at a time. Um, and you, you, the scarlet is attract success, okay? It's a more powerful color. So I feel it's almost like more green than red, but the bit of red helps bring that power in, power color in for you, just to help give you that extra energy, but you don't want to overwhelm your delicate energy. Um, I do feel as well that you are a better, um, I do feel that you have empathic, uh, sorry, <laughs> empathic ability. Um, and so I do feel that you're picking up a lot of other people's stuff, um, as I said earlier. So, okay, let me just see if there's one more thing for you here. Right, okay. So as a last card, they've got here, take no offense. So as part of the drama, um, and letting that go. I do feel here there also needs to be an element of you. Do you can you take things very personally? Um, do you sometimes see slights where there aren't any from other people? Does that make sense? Do you feel that someone doesn't like you but there's no evidence for that? And this speaks to me to what's going on inside. And often again that can come from a place of of you know being unsure, low self-esteem. This feels like again, what can you so what joy can you bring in? Little things, what little joy can you bring in to add to your life that helps you to cope better with um, what you've got in your life at the moment? Okay. Um, 
Right, I'm being shown really big wings behind you, okay? So um, I do feel that there is a lot of protection there for you, all right? Um, and I feel that that would, would be better to be linking into those energies. Um, I'm just feeling a lot of energy around here. Um, you have to cut cords and want to talk. Yeah, okay. Um, you bought a red top today. Wonderful. Okay, we'll put some green with it. Why not? Traffic lights are green, are red and green and orange, aren't they? So don't be frightened of mixing those up. Okay, so that will help, you know, give you that energy. But certainly I just then feel, because that could raise your vibration and make you feel really, but I feel that that also needs to be the gentleness of the heart energy as well. All right, just to help you. Yes, it can be intuition. It can be. Um, and, but I also feel here that, um, you know, do you put your barriers up? Do you put your boundaries up? Do you do a daily ritual of just protecting yourself before you go out? All right. I put up several, doing the work I do, several layers a day. All right. And then sometimes you just need to retreat. So I am being shown, you know, get the kids out um, if you can, or you get out. Can you get out to, I'm being shown the woods behind me, but if you can get out and be around trees, even if you've got one near you, go hug a tree. I'm all for hugging a tree. All right, I do it daily. I feel that wonderful energy, okay? So I don't mind being weird. Weirdos are now being proved to be right, okay? So we stood as being weirdos for many years, and now people are saying, oh, look, yes, the trees are all connected to each other, and uh, they give off the wonderful energy to help everybody. All right, so I hope that's helped, my love, okay? So as I say, um, if you're interested in having a private session with me, reading, coaching, working through your life as we move forward, then just contact me, press on this picture, and then the details come up below um, or on the video afterwards. MelanieWellard.co.uk is my website, and then you can um, send me a message and take it from there. But please look me up on Facebook as well. Just look up Melanie Wellard. Uh, I'm on Instagram, Melanie Wellard. There's, I do regular inspirational videos. If you want to look me up on Instagram, Melanie.Wellard. Or on YouTube, Melanie Wellard. <laughs> so I try and keep it straightforward. Um, and I put them on YouTube as well, so they're easy to find. And you can put on the little bell to get notifications when I put up a new video. Um, a lot of people are finding those very useful. They are always um, channeled by spirit. I haven't done some for a while because I'm having to focus on studying. Um, but I will be back to doing those. So it's brilliant. Right, who do we have next? Okay. okay, sorry, just going through finding other names. Uh, Tanya Butler Blair. Tanya Blair. Tanya, can you just, I will start the reading, but if you can just let me know um, below. Um, oh, I'm glad, Julia, that's picked you up. I am glad. Oh, brilliant. Okay, welcome to my little Facebook group. I don't have a personal group. I just, it's all to do with my connection with people and my business. So, uh, so lovely. Um, okay, so Tanya, can you just let me know you are still here? Okay, let's see what I get with Tanya. Just clearing the energy. I can move on to the next one. Okay. So I'm going to bring a bit more spirit into the energies. Sage coming in here. <laughs> Sandwood as well is very bit clearer. Okay. We all need all the help we can get at the moment, don't we? So. So Tanya, are you still here? Okay, I don't want to. 
start going if you're not, if not. Okay, I haven't heard from Tanya, so I will pick up on somebody else. Claire Francis. Claire, are you still here? Okay. Right, all right, Claire, let's go with you. What do we need for you? Okay, I'm going to use the Moon Oracle card to you, Claire. Why am I picking up such a strong link with you, with the Moon? Okay, I've got a picture of you sort of out. Do you um, you work with the moon cycles? Um, I'm feeling a very strong link with the moon here, Claire. So I'm just going to pull one card at the moment. So do let me know. Um, for those of you still here, people have moved on. Could you just now put a message down and let me know where you are, where you're calling from? Because obviously there's been a lot of messages gone since. Some of them disappear off the top. So if you can just all now, who are still here? Um, and I'm just pulling one card for Claire. I haven't got any more coming up. Uh, I don't know why that is. Okay, oh, thank you. They're all starting to pop up again. Thank you. Okay, Claire. Oops. Nope, haven't got one from Claire. So anyone else that's missing? Okay, Azra, let's move to you then, my love. Azra. Sorry, my glasses are dreadful. I can't. Let me just see. Hang on. Azra Baz Badrick. Badrick. Sorry if I pronounced that okay. Okay, Azra. Okay, love. Thank you, everybody, for letting me know. Okay, let's see how we can get out of this. Okay, so here we are. We've still got another hour to go. How good is that? So. Right, lovely. So, Azra. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. Wow, Astra, as I link in with you here, um, wow, I'm getting sort of overheated here. <laughs> um, very powerful energy that you have. Um, and I'm getting the word magic with you. So it's almost like you're an alchemist. I feel that you have amazing um, spiritual power here. Um, right, I'm just seeing what I need to move with you. Right. Yeah, I'm being drawn back to these moon cards as well. Asterisk, um Ah, oh, Tanya, you're there, are you? Okay, I'll go back to you after this. Okay, bye-bye. So, Azra. Um, right, wow. Um, Some very powerful people out there, haven't we? Very spiritual people. Okay. Um, I did say it well. Oh, thank you. Okay. Right. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, nice to see you. Right, Azra. I'm being shown you, um, I get. Uh, in sort of long flowing roads, okay? And I think I'm being given a bit of a past life with you here. Um, I feel, again, a very strong goddess energy. There's a lot of that here this evening. It's fabulous. Um, and I also am picking up very, very strong connection to the earth, the moon, the natural elements with you. Um, I feel that you have strong healing ability. Um, if you are not using this, I would very much encourage you to, um, because it's like it's so much a part of you and has been for eons. Okay, let me just see what I'm pulling for you here. 
Right, okay. So I've pulled you three cards here. And I'm just going to link in with these. The first one you've got is nourishment. Okay. Now, what I'm feeling here is um, real life nourishment is what I'm getting for you. Um, again, I'm, I, a lot of neglecting of self here. All right. Um, but I'm also getting here nourishment of your soul. Okay. This feels like it's quite deep. All right. So it's like there's some very deep stuff going on here from the past. I won't ever mention real personal details here, okay, on a public forum. So hopefully you can link in with what I'm referring to. But I'm being now taken back to when you were a child. Um, and it's like the, the deep pain. And I'm feeling that you brought this from the way back past, from previous lives as well. Um, and it's like there's a lot of clearing and healing that needs to take place here. All right. So I am getting... Um, yeah, nourishment of self, but also the soul, okay? Um, because you've then got the void. Now, the void people sort of can worry about, but the void is a place that we sometimes need to sit in. We need to allow the healing to take place when not a lot might seem to be going on in our life, okay? Um, but this can be the deepest, most healing times of our lives. If we can surrender to this time where we allow ourselves to look deeper, allow ourselves to get the help we need to reach out to others. It may be a time we need to think about having some therapy or having some coaching or having um, visiting a healer regularly and being able to just sit with this space. And it can be very uncomfortable and a lot of people avoid these times and they fill them with activity. And then it is a very, very important time in their life that they have missed. All right. And then the healing doesn't take place so well and they don't move forward as hugely as they would do if they just accepted and trusted in, in the divine, in nature, in the universe, however you wish to refer to it. Um, and, and allow yourself to look within. This feels like a real cleansing time of being able to look within, all right? Um, and just sit quietly. So it, it's, it's like sitting in that void, looking at how your soul needs to be nourished. And it feels like it's a time for going deep within, clearing out, bringing in what it needs. So your last card is blossoming. So that then your soul can blossom. This is very deep for you. Your soul can blossom as you move forward. And then it just feels like it's going to be, you're going to move forward in leaps and bounds. But you've got to be comfortable with the void. And none of us are. Okay? Myself included. I'm very impatient. But I can only tell you, this last year has been a bit like that. The fears involved, the loss of business, of... Um, all the things that have happened, lots of loss, okay? Possibility for lots of fear to come in and take over. What might happen? I'm going to lose everything. You know, you just can go down those and I'm just feeling, but if you can sit and it's turned into a time of development and learning and growing and so a lot of time being isolated and alone in that void, okay? But if you can... Wow, the blossoming that I see for you moving forward is enormous. Okay. Um, let me just see what might be blocking you in order to just be there and sit with this. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> just confirming, surrendering the fear at the moment. Okay. Easier said than done, I know. Spirits give us these lovely messages, and I argue with them all the time. Going, yeah, but you know, you're not down for it. But they do understand. But they just say we look at life from such a dense way. And when I say dense, I mean heavy, lower energy way. Okay, we can just sometimes soar above it. Oh, okay, I'm going to pull you an animal card as well, an animal guide card to help you with this in a minute. But if you can just let go of the fear. And this is a message for everybody. Do, um, do realise that very often with these messages that I'm doing online, um, Spirit do come through and say that these um, can be deep messages for other people as well. You may find you resonate with them. All right. But surrendering to fear is a big one for everybody at the moment. Okay. 
thing with getting into a place of fear, if you actually think about it, it doesn't serve a purpose to us, does it? When we feel that overwhelming feelings, the anxiety rising, but we stay stuck, we still don't move forward. So is it better to sit in a place with the same problem? And I've said this before, so you can sit with trying to bring as much joy into our life as we can, being grateful, all those things, getting out in nature, um, or we can sit with the terror and the fear of what might be, when maybe there isn't a decision to make yet. All right, I know this is easier said than done. It's why we're here, to learn these sort of a, quite advanced techniques. But when we find that we do let go, all of a sudden we go, wow. We look back and we go, well, that was so much easier than I thought. We've still got the problem, but how you view it is, it's whether we get like, it's like a tsunami of fear that comes in. We just feel we're drowning, don't we? Overwhelmed. Um, and sometimes we just need to step back from that and go, you're not going to overwhelm me. I'm being shown this. We can literally put our hand up and say, no, I am not going to drown in fear. I will not let you overwhelm me. Right. Um, okay, what else do we want to try? Right, I feel that they also want to look at what's going to help you here. Um, oh, happy birthday tomorrow, Asla. Happy birthday. Really honour that day, if you can. If you can, if, it's, if you, um, or just in the evening, really honour this time. It feels like it needs to be a really spiritual um we're also coming up to the equinox as well right okay there you go you've got sapphire look at that beautiful blue so you may want to bring this in or just focus on this color um but what it says to you is regenerate your body regenerate so that's exactly what it's been saying okay though that's your confirmation and this feels like a really important phase in your life okay um Soul sister. Oh, lovely. Thank you. I'm very honoured. Thank you very much. Um, so I don't know, it feels like doing some, I just keep seeing these glowing robes. I don't know why. It's just like this whole goddess energy with you. And it just feels like really honour this time. I just see you with sage and, and saying welcome to the future. All right. Welcome to your future. Um, whatever you do, um, I'm not feeling you do do this, but I am being asked to pass this on anyway. Don't buy into the age, all right? I'm somebody, and all those that know me will know that I do not buy into age, all right? I can barely remember my own age sometimes because the minute we buy into, again, that's a, a system that sort of saying you are this, and therefore by this age we must do this, and by this age we must do this, and okay, we have all sorts of maybe clocks that go on. But again, you know, I was reading about a lady who, when she was like 97, she learned to ride a bike and she um, went in an aeroplane and all sorts of things you know so a lot of it is luck a lot of it is genes okay we have that as well but you need to the more I'm a great advocate for self-awareness the more like it is your whole journey in life the more you learn about yourself the more you know what's right for you okay and then you don't keep comparing yourself to someone else I know I have a very sensitive psychic system, so I know I need to retreat regularly away from too much of other people's energy and get into the woods. Um, I know when my body can't give healing to someone else and I need to take a retreat to recharge, okay? But if we keep going, keep going, then we're not serving others well. So please serve yourself um, as much as you can. Is that all right? Okay, my love. Um, happy birthday for tomorrow. And get cake, all right? Get cake. I'm being shown. Yeah, go for it, you know? Don't need to overdo it, but get cake. All right. So I said I would go to Tanya next. Okay, Tanya. All right, I'm just clearing the energy so that I can move on to a new reading. Okay. Oh, let's have a little clearing the air with the sound. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Just clearing from one reading. Another. Hi Tanya. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to take a drink. It's feeling a bit dry off now. Okay. So, as I say, 
melaniewellard.co.uk, look me up, join my Facebook group, join my YouTube group, sign on. I do lots of inspirational little videos, and it would be lovely to, to join with you. Oh, sorry, this is uh, Asra. Sorry, darling, I'm being brought back to you again. Just quickly, quickly, quickly. They want to give you an animal guide help you with your journey so you may want to go on like a shamanic journey inwards so whether that's something that you're familiar with <laughs> okay well there you go kangaroo where are you based my love all right where are you based you are welcome you're welcome but um just tell me quickly asra where are you in the world okay is that relevant to you okay be grateful for all you are blessed with. So, I've got a hair in my mouth. Okay, <laughs> that's the fur from the kangaroo. Okay, so that's your animal guide to help you with. Oh, and I just shame eventually. Oh, right, I'm being given meaning for this. Okay, in the kangaroo pouch. All right, this is the void. All right, and sitting within, nurtured by mother. Okay, mother earth. All right, and then I'm being shown that you will leap forward. Okay, into your life. Do let me know how you get on because that sounds, I'm very excited about that. But you've got to sit in that place at the moment. Don't be in a hurry to leap forward. Okay, so sorry about that. Sorry, if Spirit wants me to carry on, then I carry on. Okay, oh, you're in Newcastle. Oh, you're in Australia. Okay, well, there you go. You got the kangaroo. So, how perfect is that? And do you know what? Sorry, I've got a hair in my mouth. My, are we all getting a bit in England? We've been in lockdown since I can't remember when we weren't in lockdown. Okay, so um, I'm starting to look like a, a reject from Charlie's Angels. My hair's just getting longer and longer. So, but hey, I used to like that. They always look glamorous, didn't they? But I'm um, looking forward to getting a haircut. So, um, all right, my love. So there you go. I've never had the kangaroo card come up before. Right. Okay, let's just... Sorry, I now need to just clear your energy, my darling. So I talk to you all night. Um, okay. What's needed for Tanya? Okay. Right, Tanya, um, as I'm linking in with you, my love, I've got you sort of wistfully looking out of the window. I feel your spirits are quite low. Um, and I'm getting a sense of wishing for what might have been if that makes sense to you, what might have been, all right? Um, I am getting a sense of needing to let go, needing to let go of the past, needing to let go of what has gone, all right? And to not keep wishing for something to be um, what you'd hoped it would be. It is time to let go, okay? Um, I do feel a sense of loss with you, okay? Um, don't mind my darling, I just like to send you some healing as well, okay? So it's up to you if you receive the healing. Um, I want to wrap you in, I'm being shown being wrapped in beautiful angel wings here. Um, and it's like you, they're lifting you. So as if you're on a beautiful soft cloud here. Um, okay. And I'm feeling um, tears coming up, my darling. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. I, so I do feel a deep sadness from the past with you. Okay. Um, again, I won't go into personal details on here. Um, I'm just going to look, all right, I'm just going to lift that energy away and try and help lift you up as well, okay. Um, I'm being shown a broken heart, all right. And I want to talk softly to you, there's a need, um, for some reason I'm getting, don't, don't speak loudly, don't, it's like you, um, you want to be in a quiet place, all right. Um, have you been actually removing yourself from people? Um, or there's a deep, deep desire. Okay, right. You've actually got here surrendering negative thinking. Right. 
leaving that with you because that's what I'm feeling. It was time for upliftment. Okay. Because look, you've also got to learn with success. It's allowing success to come into your life. And by success, we obviously something comes to um to mind straight away of what we think success. I'm not I'm feeling this is spiritual success. I feel this is upliftment. I feel this is success in moving forward. All right, that feels really lovely. A big smile is coming to my face and my energy is lifting. All right, I really feel my energy is lifting. Um, so it's like I want to bring you away from the window um, because that's also, it feels like that's an analogy, okay? It's the looking wistfully out the window, wishing for what it was. And that it's like you're being taken. This angel is taking your hand drawing you very gently, everything is very gently, and I keep wanting to cry here, okay, um, let it out, let those tears out, okay, um, and they're bringing you gently away from the window and saying, look, you need to look to the door, okay, sorry, I'm going to cry in a minute, um, I feel this very powerful in you, okay, um, because the door is your way forward, they want to help you move on in your life, it's time, it's time for you to come out of that almost, um, I want to say a self-imposed prison. Does that make sense? Um, it's like you haven't allowed yourself to jump into life. Um, so I feel this is a physical get outside more. All right, you need to be looking at the sun. You need to be looking at the brightness of the air, even if the sun's not shining, just the fresh air. And I'm like, big deep breath, um, because it's letting go of the negative thinking in order to let the success in. The success is moving through that door and look, I haven't actually moved this that started. Hang on. <laughs> look, there's a, it's actually, um, oh, it's a mirror to walk through. Okay, into a new life, into a new world. So it's, um, okay, what I'm getting with this is looking, it's looking in the mirror to see what is what's real and seeing that that is you're, you're reflected in there as having um, kept yourself a bit too long in this place it's time to move on my darling it really is time to move on they really are supporting you doing this um okay where are they, where are they taking me now Right, okay, these are new cards for me. I haven't used these are called uh what about your voice vibration? Why are they taking me to these for you? Okay. Right, what you've got here is third eye chakra, trust your inner tuition, intuition. They call it inner tuition. Okay, I like that. Your inner tuition. All right. Brilliant way of putting it. Um, this feels for me, that's just the colour you can see there. I can't really see anything because it's light shining. Just the colour, beautiful. Can you see that? A beautiful light. That's where they want to take you, my darling. They want to take you into the brightness of outside okay um and it's listening it's like you know all right it's it's like they're preaching to the converted here you know it's time all right listen to that all right listen to that um that voice within all right um because it's almost like you're ignoring it i'm getting that You've been getting these feelings of, I know I need to move on, and you're just going, don't want to hear it, don't want to hear it, like we do with our parents, you know, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm getting that real, um, almost teenage, um, you know, reaction, whatever, as we say in England, <laughs> whatever. Um, all right. Right. Okay. I just want to bring in these angel cards for you as well. Whoa, those are alive here. Right, well, that's, they leapt out at you. Okay, right. 
So you've actually got the counselling card here. Right. As I say, I've got 24 packs of cards sitting in front of me, so they're guiding me to what you need to give you. I'm going to bring that is that better on that side. No, I just got bright light coming in. So um, what I feel here is um, I'm feeling this goes both ways. All right. I feel that you have the ability to counsel others, to give advice, but I'm being told at this time. If you haven't already, you may need to work with somebody, all right, to help you move forward, all right. So someone that's going to just maybe just help you through that that door, all right, or to help let go of the past, all right. Because again, obviously within a reading, you know, we're, you're getting through these this advice, but then it's how do I do that, okay? Which is why I do work with people on a long term basis um, to help them take those steps. All right, um, because the reading is just giving you that information as it is now, but then you can feel a bit abandoned. And then if you don't do anything with it afterwards, you just can sort of stay stuck. So do, um, if you feel that you need some form of therapy or counseling or coaching or whatever it is you feel you need, just to help you move forward, do talk it through to do in order to help you release it. Okay, you're very stubborn, are you sometimes? Okay, that's, is that that hand? Lovely, I love that. Okay, what else have they got for you here? Oh, what are these ones? Oh, these are another form of these are crystal cards I haven't used very much. I love my work and cards have been part of my life uh, for many years. I have many, many cards and I've got some more packs arriving. Oh, there you go. Right. Okay, how's that? I love it when they just jump out. Now, I'm, I'm not good at pronouncing these long names, so I apologise. Tacoxinite. Okay, perfect. New beginnings. Okay, there is your answer, my darling. It is time for new beginnings. It is time to walk through that door because your life is waiting for you. All right. It might help you. Um, oh, okay, I'm being told to draw everyone's attention to the equinox. 20th. Now this is a wonderful time, I think it's a three day window that we have to work on bringing ourselves into balance, um, what we need to let go of, more powerful than um, the full moons, um, where are we heading to. So with you my darling we've got that, come away from that window and start walking towards that door and this would be a wonderful time to do some form of ceremony. Um, just mark the ascension and just it gives an intention to the universe what you're willing to do okay um because yeah so i've also pulled you the despair card and that just resonates with where i feel that you are or have been okay and there you go and that's where you're going again truth of the light so i'm just keep pulling these to just give you confirmation after confirmation all different types of cards giving you the same message now, when I talk about the cards, remember these um, cards are a way of connecting. Think of it like a telephone to the divine, a telephone to spirit. All right. Um, I don't feel that the cards have the magic within them. You must keep them clean because of the energy. But I do feel that, um, you know, they, to me, it's like that. It's like um, plugging into your laptop. All right. And then you can... Um, you plug it in and then you, you're Googling, Googling or might be Wi-Fi, but you're still connecting. But they're, oh, sorry, they're telling me now. I can use a different analogy. Sorry, they're correcting me. With Wi-Fi, okay, think of that as a connection, how you connect to spirit. People say, well, how can you connect spirit all around the world? But you don't question the Wi-Fi in our, in our third dimensional situation. Um, that we can be talking to each other like this around the world and we just take it for granted. Well, for me, spirit's as natural as this, all right? And it's connect it doesn't matter where you are. I can send healing to you to the other side of the world. I actually have the most wonderful thing called a crystal bed. And it, you lay on the couch, and then I, it's over you with these beautiful crystals hanging down to each of the chakras, okay? And I've done healing sessions with people on other sides of the world where they lay on their bed. I can see them on the screen. Um, and... What happens is I get them to, I put the laptop onto the couch and they can see the crystal bed. Then they can just lay down and drift off and I can give healing through this. And what's amazing, I've always sent distance healing, 
but I'm able to then see them. So when I hold up a crystal to them, so let me just demonstrate. So there's my beautiful crystal unicorn. Okay. So say you were laying on the couch or on your bed in front of me, I can sort of bring up that crystal and then because of the perspective, it's like that whole beautiful crystal is laying over your whole body. All right, so the energy, um, and as I say, in energy, there is no time and space. All right, everything is energy. All right, so it is absolutely amazing. So I just want to pull you one more here, Tanya. Uh, just a message that is, this is a specific message to help you move forward. If you were in any doubt, change tracks. All right, I will finish that. And I'm being, the reason I hesitated when I looked at that, they said, there's your full stop. It's your full stop from letting go of the past, time to move forward. All right, my darling. So if there's any more ways you could get the same message, bless you. I hope that has helped. Okay. Right. Where are we going to? I hope that's helpful to you now. Kelly. Kelly Coulton. Okay, Kelly. Let's just go with you. Right, I'm getting these straight away. Let's see what's going on. I hope you're still with me, Kelly. Kelly, are you still with me, my lovely? Kelly Coulton. Okay. All right, well, I'll keep going for a minute, Kelly. Just let me know. Pop up so that I know I'm still speaking to you. Thank you for all of those that are staying up so late. I'm very, very lovely that you're staying up so late. I hope you sleep well. Hopefully you will after this. I will start off with one card here, Kelly, and then if you don't come on, I will move on to someone else. Okay, I'm just cutting the cord from the previous reading. I can move on to the reading with Kelly. All right, my love. Okay. Right, straight away, Kelly, um, what I'm getting here, um, burning the candle at both ends. All right, you've got the last card here. All right, um, yeah. I'm just feeling, I'm being shown here fried wires, all right, fried wires. Um, oh, you're great. I'm, I'm, you're very welcome, Tanya. You're very welcome. God bless you. Um, yeah, so, okay, Kelly. Oh, you are there. Great, Kelly. Okay. Um, So, um, yeah, Kelly, I feel that you have been literally burning the candle at both ends, as I was saying. And I just feel that um, I'm being shown you being pulled this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. OK, and uh, fried edges, um, I want to say. So and it's almost like um, I'm, I'm being shown, you know, when someone just falls back in a comedy movie, just, oh, and they fall back onto something that looks like they've just fallen over. They've just had enough. And I'm just feeling that you're at that point at the moment, okay? Um, um, but yeah, you really need to take action um, over this, okay? Um, and I'm being told now, all right, you really need to address this now. Okay, um, and I feel you can, all right, so don't panic. I do feel that you can, all right. Okay, um, just again, I'm just being asked to remind you of um, when I do readings that, um, my spirit guide me to a particular person. It doesn't mean that you're being rejected. Um, 
what I, I'm showing you here is the in-depth of the readings. I'm being told I mustn't rush from one to the other to the other, just doing a card, but those can be um, certainly not today, um, and to do this more in-depth approach. Now, um, if you listen to other people's readings, I am being told that there will be many occasions when you're going to hear a message that is meant for you as well, when I'm on this open forum, okay? So spirit are often guiding me to people who whose um, answers will resonate with more than one person, okay? Um, so um, if you are listening to other people's, then you may feel that this is healing for you as well, okay? Right, let's see what else there is for you here, Kelly. Right, that's lovely. Okay, so that, that came in, um, Kelly, as a sort of like a take action now, all right? So it's just you, you don't want to have start to get ill or feel failing health, okay, because you've just burnt out too much. So I'm being told if you act now, just um, that isn't to, to scare you. It's just that if we let our, ourselves run on an empty tank, the body's got no reserves, okay? Um, and I'm being told here that you know, <laughs> listen with your heart, all right? And I'm being told, you know, you know that what I'm saying is absolutely right, they're saying. Um, so they're wagging a finger at you. I'm getting a real waggy finger saying, you know you pushed it too far. You've been hearing the warnings and you now need to act, all right? Um, because I feel that very shortly, I don't feel that like you've got to like take, you know, three weeks off or something. Um, but just listen to what I'm just being told, you know the answers, you know what to do. I'm preaching this to the converted um, and that you can um, take action and get it sorted, okay? Um, because you've also got here then igniting courage, all right? Look at that, because I feel that you need to be ready and strong to launch forward. Now, um, I'm just wondering here, my love, if, um, are you looking to move into a new career, into a new job or taking something new on? Because this feels very exciting and it feels like eventually um, you're going to be leaping forward. But I'm being drawn to the flag. All right. So at the moment, I'm feeling that this is like a surrender flag. They want you to surrender to pushing too hard. All right. So whatever that means, even just taking off a couple of days, doing what means rest to you. They're just saying, I mustn't tell you what to do. That just you will know what rest is. OK. And what you need. Um because um, it's almost like they're putting up that flag of surrender. Please surrender to what you're hearing um, in your own heart, all right? Because then you are going to surge forward. Um, and what's amazing is you are going to exceed your expectations. Look at that. You're on top of the world, all right? But you just need to take a step back, stop pushing, allow some time, because this is going to happen, okay? But if you end up in bed with flu or something, then what's the point? All right. So just hold that off. So if you are, um, yeah, I'm feeling something real new energy coming in. Um, I don't know whether you run your own business. Um, if not, then you certainly could. Um, and I just feel so something is taking up a huge amount of your time and energy. And you're just going, I just got to keep going, keep going, keep going. But you don't. Okay. So I'm just going to give you what color you need. What colour do you need? Indigo you've got here. Improve your vision. Okay. So with your vision here, I feel this is your intuitive vision because this is your third eye. Okay. And it's like you can't, you're getting a bit overwhelmed and you don't know which way to go. And that's why they need you to take a rest, step back. Then you'll come back refreshed and more able to connect in with that. Um, and with your intuition, knowing which decision needs to be made. Okay, so I hope that helps. Okay, is it well? Oh, you are. Oh, lovely. Brilliant. Okay, so um, yeah, if you're doing that, Kelly, um, then just um, take it a step at a time. Okay, and definitely with that, with improving your intuition, you do need to take, you'll take leaps forward, and then it will feel like nothing is happening. And, you know, don't be frightened just because what you have to do, think about it, you get all this energy coming in and then you need to allow it to integrate. Uh, what they're showing me is sometimes if we overdo it, 
You know, when you're watering a plant, if you just keep watering and watering and watering and watering it, eventually it'll flood the plant and it starts to run out the bottom. Okay, so we need to water it a bit, allow that to soak into the soil, allow it to take up all the nutrients. All right, that mixes it with the soil and then we need to be patient before we move on. Then we might water it again and then we take that in. But if you just keep watering, then a lot of it is wasted and it trickles through. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Frozen. I can keep some. Sorry. Look. So I just want to um okay. If I can just also just say um to anyone if you get any spammers on here or people that you know um Um, just please don't put your attention on them, okay? Um, okay. Brenda, okay, Brenda, Brenda me, okay? Okay, my love, um, just let me know. Okay, Brenda, right. Where are we going with Brenda? Oh, this one's up. Okay, let's see what's going on with Brenda. Oh, why am I getting yelling, Brenda? Why am I getting, okay. Who are you fed up with? Who are you angry at? Um, any of this family disputes going on around you? Again, I won't discuss anything personal on here. Okay, um, you know what that's all about. Um, I feel that someone's being very unfair, um, being very judgmental. Um, try and fix someone, all right? I'm picking up an energy of trying to fix somebody. Um, we're not here to fix anybody, okay? Um, really hard when it comes to um, family members when you can see them going down the wrong route yeah okay right I've got justice card so I feel that there's a sense oh there's a sense of feeling a real injustice going on um, just this whole sense of not being fair okay um, and also with you um, feeling very isolated okay and sort of cut off it's almost like again I get a sense here of not being um, not being listened to if that makes sense so I'm just seeing all this really chaos going around people's emotions everything emotions running really high okay um, I, I don't feel there's anything easily to be done here, okay? There is nothing to be done here um, to bring about a quick change. Sometimes we just have to accept that we are going to see things differently from someone else, but at the end of the day, everyone has to walk their own path, all right? Everyone has to walk their own path. Um, okay, what have we got here that we need to... Yeah, so there's your confirmation. Um, surrender to non-action. So not doing anything. This feels like stop pushing. Um, I just feel it's can't. There isn't. This doesn't feel like there's anything effective to go on here. And then, wow, if you wanted the message even clearer, so you've got non-action and surrender to silence. All right. Does that make sense? Non-action and silence. So sometimes silence is the best, the best way forward because it's not being received well. Okay, and there you go. 
exactly the words I use. Surrender to what is. All right, it just it is what it is. And sometimes we just need to be in that space and just accepting that there's not a lot that we can do to change it. And sometimes that's right, okay? Um, you'll know what that is. And as I say, I won't discuss any of the... Oh, okay, well, I'm being drawn to the time of 11.11. 11. Um, I don't know whether you are... You look at um, numerology and... But I do feel that there will be a solution to this that will be for everyone's highest good moving forward, okay? Is what I got drawn to with that. Um, might not be what you want, but if we can sometimes surrender to what is best for everyone concerned. Sometimes we try and force our will um, on somebody else, and that isn't their path, okay? And we have the freedom to walk their own path. And if that means falling over, making a well, I, don't, I was going to say the word mistake, and they said, you know, there aren't any mistakes. So fall over, we pick ourselves up. It's a lovely saying, fall over seven times, stand up eight. And that flew out. Count your blessings of what you have got. All right. So looking at what is there rather than what isn't. Um, and even in this situation, it feels like try and look at what is, um, even if you can only find a tiny good thing in it, um, there was something I've always done throughout my life that every job I've ever had, every relationship I've ever had, I look back and I sometimes get into, sometimes it happens at New Year or it's as I'm reflecting, and I will do a whole timeline of what I got from every situation. And sometimes even if it was a job that seemed a disaster right from the start, I, I can remember saying, oh, well, that was the year I learned to drive and I got my first company car. Or that was the year I learned to do this skill, even though everything else around it. And what I've seen is many, many people, they just focus on, oh, that was awful. I hate that place. Oh, they were dreadful. And when I've asked them, you know, what was good about it? And they go, nothing. And yet, when you dig a bit, they've been taught many skills there. Fine, they might have not got on with everybody, but there'll be somebody there that they did get on with. They'd have had a beautiful day at one point or another. And they, they're willing to throw that all out the window rather than, oh, whereas I go in and I, I reach for that little diamond and I take the little diamond with me, okay? Because even if you learn that was a thing not to do, that was a job you, that wasn't good for you, that was a type of career that wasn't good for you, or a relationship that wasn't good for you. And in that way, I've always stayed friendly with people, um, relationships that I've had in my youth. Um, I sometimes even have recently, you know, you have people that look you up um, and you can still talk in a civil manner. If we just carry through rage all the time, so even if it was a relationship that was um, really not healthy for us, the gem you can take forward is that you've reached the point to find out that that wasn't good for you and you got out of it. That's the gem, okay? That you learn that this isn't something that's good for your health. So that's your learning. We are all here to learn every minute of every day. Um, so. When I'm getting the Count Your Blessings card, that might prove challenging at times, but if you can focus on that, I promise you it raises your vibration beyond anything you can imagine. Um, and it, it takes us up into that level to see world, the world from a very different uh, viewpoint, okay? Um, or we can just keep saying what's bad about everything, and that's not a nice place to be, is it? So let me see what else is here we've got. Okay, I've got ask with sincerity. Okay, so asking um, and speaking from the heart with real meaning, with real love, with real compassion um, is what I'm getting with this one. Okay. So truly wanting, with truly um, an open heart is the words I'm getting. Okay, I hope that's helped. You will know what that's to do with, okay? As I say, I don't want to talk about personal development because that's not for individuals. Okay. doing fine. I'm nice doing a long two-hour session. It allows me to see much more in depth. Charlotte. 
Charlotte Barber, are you still here, my love? As I say, all these readings um, that I give tonight, I am told very clearly that they will have messages for many people. Okay, so they do it on purpose through their choosing. So you may feel it resonates for you. If you take the name out, you may feel that I'm talking to you as well. So just let me know. Charlotte, if you're still here. Okay. All right, let's get these out for you. I'm going to go straight to the cards for you, Charlotte. Okay. All right, my darling. Um, straight away, Charlotte, um, I've got let go. Okay. There's a surrender here. A letting go. It's painful. It's sad. away from the situation in order to resolve it. So it's almost like um, backing off and allowing it to sort itself. Okay? Not pushing so hard. Treating it with gentleness and being drawn to the unicorn in this picture here. Um, and I feel that there's this very gentle spiritual energy around you. Alright? As a guardian. Okay? And I just feel it's a gentle letting go. We often think of letting go. Sometimes we need a much more, you know, cut the cord or whatever. But it's still gentle. Just breathing. Allow it to unfold is what I'm getting here. Okay? Allowing it to unfold. Um, and the way will be presented to you. Okay, there you go. There's your evidence got time to decide. Alright, we've got time to decide. So no need to rush. Take time out. And then you can make a decision based on your heart's desire. Right. But that might change. We've got time. Alright. I'm feeling to keep with these angel cards at the moment because I just feel there's a strong angelic presence around you and with you. Okay. Right. Okay. Um got the writing here. What I'm being shown is it will be very, very therapeutic for you to write, to put all your feelings down. Great time that we get as we get to the equinox. To write it down. All your pain, all your hurt. And then I think if you can, if you've got somewhere to do it, go outside and safely burn it in the incinerator or something, whatever you've got. And then just watch it as it releases and bursts. Okay, but it releases sometimes it releases it from the heart, from staying inside of us. Um, there's something about the connection um, from the heart to the hand, okay? It doesn't really matter whether you're left or right-handed, um, but it's the putting down in energy that comes much stronger through writing, um, sometimes more than typing onto a computer um, because it flows. Um, and Spirit is saying, have always told me that it's important people get back to writing. They're losing function in the hand, okay? Um, but when we hold a pen, we're connecting with different meridian lines, um, and so there's there's this whole energy from the mind and the heart that's coming down. All right, let's see what else is going on. Here. Okay, well, this is interesting. This totally goes on to something different. You've got career change. Okay, um, and what I'm getting here is again, I don't feel this is going to be a rushed thing. Um, this just might come up, um, and it could be within where you are at the moment. I just feel that there may be choices coming up for you, okay? Um, but you don't need to, um, maybe something as 
as you release and move on, you may start to think you want a change. Um, so again, I feel this is all about letting it unfold for you. All right. Okay. Um, got the failure card. Now this is all about your feeling of failure. Okay, you're feeling like you've done something wrong, you feel like you're making the wrong decisions, and you're not, okay? There are no such things as mistakes. Alright, so we move on, we heal from them, we can make amends. Um, we can argue that point and realise what we want to call these things, okay? But I am being told very strongly here, there has been no failure. This is... This is the language of your mind. Sorry, this is the language of your mind. Because what they want to bring you is peace. They want to bring you peace of mind. At the moment, you're thinking of failure of mind. So, however, you can to try and bring your mind into a state of peace. All right. Um, I want to just. Um, now I'm just going to have a look with regards to this. I think the equinox is an important time for you. All right, you link into the energies very strongly. Okay. Right. So yeah, what I was just talking about, about writing and letting it go, um, you've got the action card, so I feel there is a need to take action, and we know you've got the full moon, so I feel this is a full moon action, but I feel it's, you can do it on the equinox, okay? Um, you've then got purity, it just feels like it will purify you, it will allow you connect, to connect more with nature, um, and to just release. Um, and I feel that this will bring tears. There is acceptance. For someone who has passed. Okay. I think that's probably, um, that's all I'm going to say with regards to that. Okay, you know what that means. All right. Okay, I'm just going to um, pull your crystal card and see what you need to help your healing. Okay, so can you just let me know if that's made sense so far? Okay, let's see. Oh, crikey. Okay. So, just to give you that confirmation again. Okay, with the moon cards, you got acceptance. And then with the crystal card, Bodo Crystal tonight, Pokemon tonight, it's both. You've also got acceptance. All right. This is a wonderful, this is a really wonderful crystal to work on. Leaving that up there so you can write that down. All right. Bodacrosite. It's a beautiful healer to work on. All right. And can be stronger than rose quartz with that. So, and it will just help you to move into a state of acceptance. Lovely. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to just see your colour. Feeling as well at the moment, okay. Well, you know, you've got the peace and purity card, now you've got aqua, which is also experience, peace, and calm. All right, so you've had that word twice in the reading as well. So I think the message is very clear for you there. All right, and bring that back up. All right, love. Okay. 
Okay, so I hope that helped. Okay, now we're going to have to talk. I think it goes quick, doesn't it? It's in here for two hours. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick card for Meg Smith. Taylor. Just remembering to everyone, as I say, what I've helped demonstrate this evening is to the in-depth you can go with a reading and look at things on an ongoing basis. So please look me up now in the well I've got through the details. Press on the picture here and the details will come up. Look me up on YouTube, Instagram, okay, Facebook. All right. Okay, Megs, Megs, Megs. Right. What have I got for you? Right. One of these big ones for you. Okay. Pull one quickly. Right. Be courageous, Megs. Okay, be courageous. And what I'm getting here, another one, with lady on a horse, heading out. Right, I feel you have a big change to make, okay? It's been playing on your mind for a long time. Your heart is telling you you need to bring about change, but you're allowing yourself to stay stuck because change is frightening you. Does that make sense? And it is time to leap, all right? You've also got here, surrender the idea, you can fix someone, all right? So, um, as I said earlier, we're not here to fix anybody, all right? They are who they are. We all like to think with loved ones that if we just love them enough, if we push them enough, if we moan at them enough, if we nag them enough, if we try and change them enough, they will be the perfect person, all right? But you need to let go of that feeling that you can change somebody, all right? So, and in doing that, I got also surrender stress for you. Oh, it's time to let go. All right, let it all go. Um, but I do feel that there's, there may be a big change that you need to to bring about. Okay. Yeah, and that will help. I've got to clear the fog, and I just feel this will help you get through the darkness. All right, but you're in you're in this fog at the moment. All right, you just don't know which way to turn, but it is because you're not taking the action that you know that you need to take. All right. Um, and I'm just going to um, put an ink for you to Okay. Right, you've got Mary Magdalene forgiveness, okay? So I do feel that the situation there is a need for forgive forgiveness of self and others. And I will leave you with that. I hope that makes sense. And Taylor. Okay. Taylor, I'm going to be on to the moon cards with you. Oh, and the goddess cards. Oh, let's see what the moon cards are in here. Thank you, Beverly. Okay. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Okay, this is what I mean about when I was saying about um, messages coming up say, for um, a reason I do with one person is could resonate with you. I've got cards that have been pulled up before um, for others. So what I've got for you, Taylor, you've got creation here. And I feel that with you, there's something in you that wants to be born. Okay, if that makes sense. Um, I feel that, um, unless this is a, a literal being born, but I feel this is a creative project in you that also wants to be born. So um, <laughs> they're saying it could be both, okay? Um, but it's like, again, it's something that's been stirring in your soul for a while and it's time, all right? Um, but you've also got, um, you've got the void card, okay? So this is sitting in the void, sitting in that space where you feel that nothing's happening and nothing's moving. It's just driving you crazy that you can't, move forward but if you honor that time see it as a time that isn't wasting time it's a time to go within it's a time to make huge shifts within 
and then all of a sudden it's seen in the outside world when we surge forward okay um because i've also got the purity card for you as well and i feel that this is about going into the purity of your soul all right this is quite a deep one for you um going into the real purity of your soul okay um Okay, Megs, I'm glad that has made sense for you. All right. That's brilliant, Christine. Well done. Okay, yep, I will pull one for you. Okay. Right, so I've got, again, the third third eye chakra here, followed usually, uh, and you've got the flower of life. So, again, I do feel that this is a lot of deep inner work to do. All right. Um, it just feels like uh, the answer lies within. I know we often don't want to hear that. Um, that's all I got for you there. Okay, and just to finish it off again, I've got let go and enjoy. So it just feels like you, you're in that, that void of again moving on from the past. Um, this, this thing wants to be born. But it's in the process of um, I'm being given the word gestating. So like a baby, it's gestating within. All right, and it's waiting to be born, and it's going to be very pure. All right. Um, do you write at all? Um, I just feel you have a real gift. All right, and I'm being told here your words need to be heard. Now sometimes even if those words are just heard by one person, two people, or three people. Um, people can pass on. Um, I just feel that you have a really beautiful um, energy that needs to be heard. Okay. So, oh, I'm glad that's helped, Taylor. I'm glad. Um, okay. I'm just going to pull one of these. All right. Um, I was just told to give you an affirmation card, which will help. Okay. So, I release all feelings of negativity and guilt. Write that down, pick it up, and I feel safe to ask that answer for you. I release all feelings of negativity and guilt because I feel that's what's holding you back. All right, so allow yourself to sit with this as you go through this and then it's wonderful moving on. It says on the other side, I'm just going to read this to you. We create habits and problems to fulfill a need. When I can find a positive way to fulfill the need, I can release the problem. I'll read that again, and I think this is a lovely way. Um, that this message I'm being told here is for all of you. We create habits and problems to fulfill a need. Think about that. That's quite deep. I could do a whole workshop just on this one card, all right? When I can find a positive way to fulfill the need, I can release the problem. So we hold on to something. We hold on to a problem because it's, um, we might hang on to a relationship because we feel lonely because we think, oh, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. So we hold on to something that's toxic. We might stay in a job because we just say, and this is, these are all valid, don't get me wrong, these are valid reasons, but it doesn't mean it's right for us. And we can say, uh, I'm going to stay in this even though I need to change because I might not earn as much or I might not get this or this might happen or that might happen. So we build up this fear of what might happen. But so often I've proven it to myself time and time again, when we take that leap, we're safe. And we hang on to it because we're trying to fulfill that deep fear need. And so when we find we can find a positive way to fulfill the need, we release the problem. Does that make sense? So, my lovelies, thank you so much. I am very honoured to have been with you today. Um, please look up my details. Go look at my website. Come and follow me on YouTube, on Facebook. It would be lovely to have you as part of the gang. Um, and uh, I don't have anything as a, a personal thing. It's all for my work. So um, please come and join me. I'd be very honoured. All right. So bless you. And I will see you soon. I will be, as I say, I've covered for Donna today on the, um, this is my show, the later one. And I've also covered for Donna. And Donna, I wish you well. And see, come and see Donna next week. She is a beautiful, beautiful healer. And I miss you. I'd like to stay on all night, okay, but I have to go. 
I love it when you're all here to join me. This gives me so much joy and pleasure to do this. And I could probably just keep going. <laughs> so, all right. So anyone that would like a private one-to-one -one reading with me, do get in touch. Let's swap something out. Oh, let me, sorry, I'm being told. Right, what do we need? Something for everybody before we go. What are they saying? Oh, they just said, no, not go, don't go yet, don't go yet. Oh. Indeed. Okay, what have we got for everybody here? Everybody here. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, that's a lovely card. I've actually been given, this is a sacred geometry card. As I say, I'm wearing a lot of sacred geometry <laughs> necklaces. And we've got here the earth. How is that? A finish on that. This is our mother. Sustains us. It gives us life. Here we are heading to the equinox on the 20th. So if you can, get outside, barefoot on the grass, connect with the earth. Send healing, send love, see if you get any messages through. Okay. Then I just pulled a goddess card, which fits so perfectly with the and I got Artemis, guardian. We are the guardians of our Mother Earth, and she is the guardian of us. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. What a beautiful message to finish with. Okay. If you can, send as much love. Visualize the planet surrounded in beautiful light, always. Remember what I said about the story as a tiny act can actually save a world. So that is a beautiful way to finish. Thank you. Bye. Come join me next week. Bye.